discuss capacity and capacity optimization, specifically focusing on capacity reclamation. I'll go ahead and select Reclaim. This provides a view of all my data centers in my environment. I can alternate between the data centers to see the different reclamation opportunities in each of those data centers. Since the MSBU East data center is running out of capacity, let's see what I can reclaim. In the frame titled, How Much You Can Potentially Save, I see the potential cost savings and the VMs with reclamation opportunities. The total reclaimable capacity frame shows the reclaimable capacity broken down by CPU, memory, and storage. Moving down, I see that I have different reclamation categories, powered off VMs, idle VMs, oversized VMs, and snapshots. Let's take a look at powered off VMs. I can look at the clusters to see what VMs are powered off. Let's go ahead and see the VMs. Here I can see a list of VMs that I can delete. Let's go ahead and delete the Ops8295 VM. Notice if I want to exclude that VM from ever showing up here, I can select Exclude VMs. I'll click on Delete VMs and I'll see the cost savings and resource savings associated with that deletion. Let's go ahead and take a look at another category, specifically the Oversized Virtual Machines category. I'll select the Chef Server VM and notice that I can reclaim one gigabyte of memory. Let's go ahead and make that change. Notice in the Resize VMs dialog, it's already showing me the from and the to values. I can see the memory reduction from four to three gigabytes. I'll have to go ahead and check Accept. The VM will need to be restarted to reduce its resources. I'll click the Resize VMs. Please note that I can make modifications to multiple VMs at the same time if I choose to. Lastly, I'd like to point out that the IT administrator defines his or her reclamation settings. These settings indicate after what period of time the VMs will show up in the categories on the Reclaim page.